Chamada Muslimir was Muslimat Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alladhi hadana li hadha. Wa ma kunna li nahtadi lawla an hadana Allah. Ama ba'd. Audhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi rahman ar-rahim. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayy al-qayyum. La ta'ahuzu sinnatu. ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلى بإذنه يعلم ما بين عيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بمن شاء وسيا كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يعده حدهما وهو العلمين ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذا ديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ألاهما يا مقلب القلوب فمن قلوبنا على دينك ألاهما يا مقلب القلوب فمن قلوبنا على دينك سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة I now call on the Diocese and Set team who is stepping in for the bishop, Reverend Canon Albert Turner. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let us pray for the nectar 
Sierra Leone Terminal Earth Expansion Project. Heavenly Father, bless this day of sacred beginning. The ground we break here, the hope we hold here, the activities we will perform here. Bless construction workers and craft people and contractors and designers. Make every hand on every tool know it is doing sacred work. Intervene and bless each potential messy situation along the path on achieving this vision. Keep us patient with inconvenience. Help us find the goodness in the terror and surprise. Amidst all the noise of that construction makes, may our luck touch time like ringing steel. Our prayers sing with the rhythm of every hammer and every nail, and the vision of what we can be here through every gap in the construction fence. May this ground project remind us that we are all in progress. We each step towards the good here. May we take steps towards the good in our own lives. So that while construction workers and craft people and contractors and designers are doing their work, may we never stop doing our own. The work of justice, the work of healing, the work of strengthening and beautifying our beloved city, Freetown. While they pursue their task, may we never cease to do the same in learning, in prayer, and in need. Together we launch towards reality that we have long called the architecture of impossibility, sacred space upon sacred place. Galvanizing, gathering upon galvanizing, gathering. One art story open to another. One generation's gift, joining the gift of all who came before. That is what we begin to build anew today. Relationship upon relationship, heart upon heart, the intercession of every person's story with a people's story, the weaving of sacred community. Connect. Connect, connect. May God whose name dwells in this place cause love, kinship, peace, and friendship to always dwell among us. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. Well, I am due to you as a very short one. I'm here to introduce the chairman who will be steering the ship. Your Excellency, Madam First Lady, Dr. Fatima Biro, Deputy Minister, <laughs> Deputy Minister of Transport and, and Aviation, Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, the Chairman, National Government, and Board of Directors of NSDT, heads of institutions, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The person I'm here to introduce to you today is a Prisrelian. Upon leaving the Prince of Wales, he went to the Injala University College, where he graduated with a BAL in English major and geography minor. Upon leaving college, he taught for a short, short while at the St. Edward Secondary School. After teaching there for a while, because of his quest for more knowledge, he left the shores of Sierra Leone for the University of Ibadan in Nigeria. 
where he obtained his master's and doctorate degree in theatre arts. Taught at the University of Ibadan International School for two years. And there's no place like home. He decided to come back home in 1986. When he came back, he went back to the Injala University College, where he taught for a while, and then later, before we college, where he rose to the rank of senior lecturer and acting head of the English department. He is a heart lover. So he established the space production in 1990. He also wrote a number of plays, The Patriot, The Monkey Sweat, and was performed, and this was performed at the Youth Festival in all in 1994, and the Storytelling Festival in Greece in 1995. He also directed a play by John C. Tor, Zoo, which is an illustration of the Amistad Revolt. As an up up world way theatre in all. This production received 10 nominations for Adolfo Award, of Adolfo Awards. Award for Black Theatre in 1997. And he won in 1997-98, during the military interregnum, he established a clandestine radio station in support of the elected government that was ousted. On the restoration of the, the civilian government, he served as Minister of Information, Communication, Tourism and Culture, and later Minister of Information and Broadcasting from 1998 to 2001. He left the government and went into private practice. He established the Premier Media Consultancy, now the Premier Media Group, where he is currently serving as the Managing Director. And of course, lady, members of the IT, I give you Dr. Julius Spencer. Good morning. Thank you for that introduction. Although I usually get embarrassed when my life history seems to be read out. Well, that's part of it. Madam First Lady, distinguished members of the government, ministers, parliamentarians, uh, members of the diplomatic and consular corps, and all other dignitaries, all other protocols of the other. Let me welcome you here to this very important event. It is an indication that Sierra Leone is growing because if the key where ships birth, it has been felt that it needs to be expanded, it seems to indicate that the space is not enough. We are going to get, we are here today to perform the turning of the sword. And hopefully, in not too long time from now, we will be back to commission the finished product. We hope and pray that sometime in the future, the birth will have to be 